to all a very warm Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. I want all our brothers and sisters to participate in this. This is our greeting. We greet each other with this greeting. It means that one and almighty is true and truth always prevails. So it's on the big screen. On the count of three, please give me a really good boost. On one, two, three. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa. In the presence of Almighty Tan Tan Shri Guru Granth Sahib Ji, our one and only teacher, I welcome you all on behalf of all the Sikh community. We are very delighted to have you all at Walnut Gurdwara. If you haven't figured out by now, we're in a Gurdwara. Gurdwara means Guru's door. Guru means prophet or teacher, and Dwara means door. So this is teacher's door. And a teacher's door means an institution. This is an institution. We are the Sikhs. Sikh means learner. We're the learners. We're the students. We come here with a blank mind to learn the way of life from our teacher, Tan Tan Shri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. But why have we gathered up today in such a big number? What's the special occasion? Today is the day when our 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, fulfilled his promise of In Garib Sikhan Ko Deo Paatshai, meaning I shall bestow royalty upon these poor Sikhs by honoring them with the kingly turban and by placing the sword of honor, the defender of human dignity, in their hands. Today is the day when Guruji introduced baptism by giving us Amrit or the divine nectar. Now can anyone tell me where and when baptism was introduced? It was introduced by Allah Sahib, Keshkar Sahib, 1699. Very good. On the 14th of April, 1699, at Keshkar Sahib, Guru Gobind Singh Ji introduced baptism by giving us Amrit or the Divine Nectar. A nectar so powerful that made us Khalsa, who we are today. When a Sikh is baptized, they're called Khalsa. Guru Gobind Singh Ji addressed the congregation by drawing his sword and asking for volunteers for Amrit. Now can anyone tell me who the first five volunteers were to take Amrit? Correct. Right, 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 right. These five men came to be known as Panch Pyare, or the Beloved Five. These five were initiated into the Khalsa by taking Amrit. These five were, as she said, Pai Deya Singh Ji, Pai Taram Singh Ji, Pai Himmat Singh Ji, Pai Mokam Singh Ji, and Pai Sahib Singh Ji. On this day, Sikh men were then given the name Singh, and the women were given Kaur. Singh means lion and Kaur means princess. So all the turbans that you see on this side, their last name will be Singh and on that side the woman will be Kaur, meaning lions and princess. On this day, Guruji also gifted us with five kakars, five symbols of faith, five articles of faith. Can anyone tell me those? Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Kanga is a small wooden comb. Kala is an iron bracelet. Keski is also known as the star or turban. Kachara are short briefs. Kirpan is a covered blade for self-defense and protection of others. These five are to be worn by every baptized Sikh and must understand the responsibilities that come with it. Now, let me pause here and talk about one of the kakar that is most discussed and most questioned about, the kirpan. A kirpan is not a sword or a knife. The difference between a kirpan and a knife or sword is significant. A knife or sword without a purpose is thirsty for blood and war. However, a kirpan is thirsty for only peace and justice. Now, you might be wondering what, why I keep saying Khalsa over and over again. What does it mean? Khalsa means pure. Khalsa means sovereign. Khalsa means a supreme ruler. 
a person who possesses supreme or ultimate power. But how do you become a supreme power? Guru Gobind Singh Ji said, Puran Jot Jagai Kaat Mein Tab Khalas Tahe Na Khalas Jana One becomes pure only when he realizes the complete light within them. The appearance of the Khalsa from the outside is the reflection of the Amrit or nectar that you found in the inside. Taking Amrit is the initiation of becoming pure and ultimate power. We live to serve humanity. When you yourself haven't served that inner light within you, then how are you going to be a beetle of light for the others? When a person becomes a Khalsa, they look distinct with the five Kakars given to them, but they are also distinct in their mind. They represent a different way of living. When you become a Khalsa, you become a shining example of what a human being can truly be. Pure of mind, ready to fight, ready to stand up for what's right. Just like our brother Ravi Singh and his organization Khalsa Aid is doing since 1999. Supporting victims of natural disasters or civil conflicts, providing them with food, shelter, clean water, clothes, building new houses, helping them financially in restarting their businesses. True picture of a Khalsa. So my friends, you might be wondering, you know, what, 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 what kind of questions come to your mind when you see a Sikh walking by? What religion is he? What is he wearing on his head? Is it a hat? Isn't it just a cloth wrapped around your head to hold your hair? The turban. Our guru gifted us with it. A turban is a symbol that represents a Sikh, truthful character. The turban is how the Singh and Kaur crown themselves. The Sikhi rests in our turban. We're nothing without it. Not wearing a turban means not wearing our pride. We tie to show the world that yes, there are people in this world that respect their roots and that are not afraid to take a stand against injustice. Many people associate a Sikh turban with his pride. But way back in time, only the elite were allowed to wear turban. That is when our first prophet, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, took a stand. And that is when Sikhism came into being. The turban was the symbol that conveyed that we believe in equality. And we are our own kings and queens. We fear no one and we're under no government but under only one and true Almighty. Guruji says that we do not fear anyone and we do not give fear to anyone. It is not just a cloth that we wrap around our head. It is a cloth we wrap around the negative vision towards humanity and life, the negative influences and most importantly we wrap it to protect our values and Sikh principles to fight against injustice. Talking about Sikh principles, can anyone tell me the three pillars of Sikhism, the three principles of Sikhism, loud and clear? Very good. Kirt karna is earning an honest living. Naam japna is seeing God in everyone so that we can serve humanity. Vanchakna is sharing whatever you have. Whether it's money, whether it's food, shelter, your happiness, your positiveness, your knowledge. Vandke Chakna, share whatever you have with your brothers and sisters. Guru Nanak Dev Ji also introduced the concept of Dasvand and Langar. The concept of the Svand literally means a tenth part and refers to the practice of contributing in the name of the Guru one-tenth of their earnings towards the common resources of the community. All the Sikhs that you see in Gurdwara today, that are right next to you, they all take out 10% of their incomes and donate it to charity or put it towards the common resources of the community. 
This is a sixth religious obligation, a religious requirement or duty, a form of seva or humble service which is highly valued in Sikh system. The concept of the swand was implicit in Guru Nanak Dev Ji's own Gurbani in the line Kaal Khai Kich Hatho De Nanak Ra Pachhane Se One who works for what he eats and gives some of what he has O Nanak, he knows the path. The idea of sharing and giving is symbolized by the institution of Langar meaning the community kitchen for the Sangat holy assembly that the Guru has established. Langar is the term used in Sikhism for the community kitchen in a Gurdwara where a free meal is served to all the visitors without distinction of religion, caste, gender, economic status or ethnicity. The free meal is always vegetarian. People sit on the floor and eat together to create a sense of family, to create a sense of equality. Whether it's the commander in chief or a high school kid, they will all sit in one place and eat longer together. And the kitchen is maintained by our six community volunteers. At Darbar Sahib, our religious headquarters, 50,000 people take that number in 50,000 people are served each day and on festival the number goes up to a hundred and thousand now all the concepts that I talk about whether it's the Svand, Langar all these are very relevant today the Svand, the Langar, the principles of Sikhism we need them today baptism, the five articles much needed in today's time and will be needed in future. But let's touch up on a hot topic that everyone talks about. And that is the main focus in Sikhism and how it is different than other cultures. Woman empowerment. We talk about woman empowerment these days, but does anyone know who started it all? Good Nanak Dev Ji. Our, Our first, first prophet, prophet 550 years ago. When women were treated as a product or a men's sandal. And at that time, Guruji raised his voice and said, Why do you call her bad or mistreat her who gave birth to emperors and kings? This thought the government then didn't like and still doesn't like. And that gave birth to the most blood sacrificing path ever seen in history Sikhism. Our fifth prophet, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, was the first one to be martyred in this path of truth. And then came the lives of countless Sikhs day by day by day, which they did not fear one bit, and we still do not fear it one bit, if, that what it, if that's what it takes to stay on the path of truth. You might think brutality has ended now. It has lessened. No, it has not. For however long humanity lives, the path of truth will always be hard will always be tough. Just recently, in 1984, there was a genocide on Sikhs in India and to the day we face torture and imprisonment. Why? Because Sikhism talks practicality. Sikhism talks scientifically. There isn't a day that goes by in the calendar where we haven't shed our blood for our turban, which stands for human's equality. Guruji says, Why don't you speak the truth? Why are you quiet now? We always stood by for what's right. We kept sacrificing our life for equality and raising our voices against injustice. Government came and left. They wanted to wipe us out. But at the end, truth prevails, truth prevails, truth prevails. Thank you. Vahigurji ka khalsa, Vahigurji ki fateh.